Sydney FC coach Graham Arnold says his family put off attending games in wake of offensive banner Western Sydney Wanderers are prepared to do whatever it takes to face down the red and black blocks hooligan element, after dramatically banning sections of the group's leadership over their offensive derby banner. On a day of mounting pressure over the RBB's obscene depiction of Sydney coach Graham Arnold, with Wanderer sponsors expressing anger on Arnold's family questioning whether to attend Derby games, the Wanderers launched a counteroffensive putting the whole 2,600-strong RBB on notice. Fourteen banning orders were issued by the club for 18 months, including some to what were described as key leaders of the RBB, and all will have to undergo a recognized social inclusion program before the bans are lifted. In the wake of a series of obscene social media posts subsequent to the game, furious club officials made clear their determination to end the RBB's periodic misbehavior, including whatever closure of its area at home games is deemed necessary. Likely to face a substantial fine later in the week from Football Federation Australia over the banner, which depicted Darnold engaged in oral sex. The Wanderers insisted they had always intended to mount a hardline crackdown since being made aware of the banner after Saturday's derby. Using unprecedentedly condemnatory language, a club statement said RBB leaders have shown no remorse for their actions of bringing our club and the game of football into disrepute and have continued to flaunt their disdain for the club and our diverse and inclusive membership family further on social media. As a club we have had enough and have put the entire group on notice. While the vast majority of the RBB are exceptional in their support and actions for this club we must remove all those who see themselves as bigger than the club they support. The moves came after Arnold had spoken out against those responsible for the banner, and Sydney FC's fans had themselves offered an apology for damaging and throwing seats at security guards at the Derby. Arnold said the banner had no place in Australian sport, and told the Wanderers he was not interested in receiving an apology now, despite his club seeking one earlier in the week. Does it bother me? Not at all, he said. I've got a thick skin and I've been in this game for 30 odd years. I've been called a lot worse and been through tougher times. But I think it's completely inappropriate for my children, my family. On top of that, all those young kids that turned up to the game with their parents to watch the game. My family were upset, to the fact where my girls have come to every game of football that I have coached and played since I can remember and they don't want to come anymore. It's a strong statement from girls and my wife, my wife is extremely upset. But, I've had, no apology, we just have to get on with it. I would probably have liked one by now. I haven't heard from them for four days so I don't want one now. At the end of the day I would have hoped I would have got an apology, but I didn't get one. That's life and we just move on. In a statement posted on Facebook, Sydney's Cove supporters group apologized for the actions of a tiny minority whose behavior it said was entirely unacceptable. Football Federation Australia is still investigating the fans' conduct and a club penalty is still possible. While we understand that emotions were high and many fans felt disillusioned by on-field events, there are never any excuses for this type vandalism and dangerous behaviour, and the overwhelming majority of the Cove rejects such behaviour, the statement said.